Okay, so today uh, we're going to be talking about how to share your screen. It's a very basic thing to do, but honestly, I think it's a very important thing to do. Uh, important thing to know how to do at least, right? Um, so yeah, let's go ahead with it. So today we're going to be learning about what screen share is for, the apps that we can screen share with, and then uh, and then we'll be watching a live demo as well as myself. I'll give you a live demo on whatever app you need. Um, okay, so. Uh, screen sharing is when you're virtually communicating with someone and you want to share the screen you see with the other person. It is good for... Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Could we have it just a tiny bit slower? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so screen sharing is when you are virtually communicating with someone and you want to share the screen you see with the other person. It is good for learning and having someone walk you by step by step and they have a visual to be able to guide you through each step. So basically, it's when you're on a call with someone and you want to show someone their screen, uh, your screen. That's essentially what screen sharing is. Okay. Um, okay. So number two, the apps compatible with screen share. So what apps can you screen share in, right? What apps can you show the person your screen in? So screen sharing of Zoom. So Zoom is an app in which you can communicate with multiple people at the same time. And you have the option to share your screen if you have the permission. Like I like some of some of you probably don't have the option, but once you're giving per, given permission, or especially when you're making your own Zoom call, you will have the ability to share your screen. Okay, so if you're a host, you can screen share. If you're not the host, but are given screen share privileges or you're you're given co-host, you will be uh, you will have to ask the host to turn that on and give you the privileges. But once the host did that, once that is given, you can click the green button, uh, this one, uh, that says share screen, which, which should be in the very center of a rectangular bar of options. So this one right here. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. And then, and then let's go. So screen sharing with Zoom, you basically, you, you uh, when you click the share screen button, you will be presented with a number of options that include your screen one or two. For example, I have three screens, so I have like three, you know, things to share. And then your browser, like specific browser tab that you need to share, or an application like a Word document, your files, or maybe even just a whiteboard. And any screen you may have open. So sometimes even your phone or an iPad, depends if you have the app installed. Um, screen sharing with Google Meet is honestly, I find that a lot more basic and easy to learn. So in the same way as Zoom, you will need to make sure that you're given, you are the host or given privileges to share your screen. Then you'll find the icon as shown in the right that says share screen and click it. So uh, screen sharing with Google Meet, it's a bit more simple, like a tad bit more simple, entire screen, a window or a tab, right? Um, so when you click the icon to share your screen, you will be given the option to share your entire screen, a window you have open or even a tab, like a Chrome tab. Um, okay, when you click the sharing you know, your entire screen button, um, you share everything that you click. So you you will literally like see everything. Like we're seeing all this, you will see everything. Um, so it will show everything that you do. But if I like pick a certain window, if I just pick this browser, for example, this app, then I'll only show my cursor in that app uh, and nothing else. You won't see like the little bars I have, the menu bar and all that. Right. Um, screen sharing with Discord. Again, it's uh, this one I haven't used in a while, but it's very, very popular amongst the youth, especially as well. Uh, so with Discord, you can pick the chat that you want to call on, and then you're given a share screen button. So when you see uh, what, what, what I'm calling, you'll see a row, uh, row of icons, and to share your screen, you will click on one with a little computer with a curved arrow. On the little screen and shown to the right. So, like this thing, right? Um, screen sharing with Discord again. So, like the other applications, uh, yeah, like the other applications, Discord will give you the options for what screen you would like to share. The option being your browser, window, or an entire screen. Okay, where, where else did we, did we see that? Everywhere else, Zoom, Google Meet, everywhere. So, it's like kind of uniform, it kind of depends. It doesn't really depend, sorry. Okay, and then screen sharing on Microsoft Teams. Um, okay, 
I want to move that out. Okay. Screen sharing with Microsoft Teams. So the button to screen share is similar to like the Zoom screen share button, like the little rectangle with the with, with the arrow on it. Um, but it but it is like only just black and white uh with, with a um I mean, sorry, it's only white with a black arrow shown on the right. The screen share button should be located on the top right corner or where the other options are for the meeting. So it really depends like what you have installed, like what are you running it on, but it's relatively easy to find. So that should be a problem. Okay, um, so when you click the share screen button, you will once again, um, let's guess this, you'll be, <laughs> you'll be presented with um, options such as audio sharing, um, if you're sharing a video, make sure this is on if you're video sharing. Like Zoom, usually, like if you share your screen, you'll be able to share your audio as well. Um, and then um, and then the display you will see when screen sharing will be screen slash window to share it to the audience. I remember like my boss always prefers like Microsoft Teams because it's so much easier for him and more secure um, for company database. So like it really depends on what you prefer, right? Um, okay, FaceTime, oh my God, yeah, this is the easiest. This is what I use the most often. And we covered this like, I think what, um, two sessions ago, or no. FaceTime is what is commonly used, uh, it, what is most commonly used, and most people do not know about the share my screen option. So the other applications are most commonly used on computers, while FaceTime is more for iPhones, and of course, any other Apple device. Okay, once you click the share my screen option, you will then be sharing everything you see on your iPhone. This feature is useful for you when you need help with figuring something out on your phone so that you could still, you could just call a family member or a friend to help you out. And then the cool thing with FaceTime is that you could actually grant someone access to your screen. So when you when you share a screen, like you, someone they'll, they'll be able to control your screen for tech, technical support sometimes. So really cool if you have an Apple device.